What is up everybody, it's CJ Place here and I'm back with another Sims 3 speed build and today I'm going to be building the last house for my Nightmare Legacy series. Yes y'all, this is the Generation 10 house. This is the last one y'all. I've been playing this series for almost two years now in real life and like <laughs> it's so crazy to think about the fact that I'm almost done with it. Like I, this is like one of the only constant things I've been doing on my channel. I guess other than like world overviews, right? So yeah, this has been a journey. Like, honestly, y'all, if you were to go back and look at some of the first parts, uh, I, like, I cringe when I look at the first couple of parts. But anyway, <laughs> I am here building a house for that family. So if you don't know what a Nightmare Legacy is, basically, it is a challenge where you play the game on short lifespan. You have to have a family. You have to have, like, you know, kids and stuff like that. Um, When I first started doing it, I didn't really see any rules on, like, the internet about, like, a Sims 3 Nightmare Legacy. The rules that I saw were more so for the Sims 4. So I kind of basically those around like my challenge kind of so i did see like little simsy do it when i'm um, in the sims 4 and then i was like well i'll just use some of the same rules that she was using which was you know have a big lot um you know you don't cheat money and eats and stuff like that so that's kind of what i have done for this so you know everything that you see y'all all the stuff my sims have earned it <laughs> but anyway this house y'all was super expensive i'm talking like 200,000 simoleons a big part of this build was just me trying to figure out if my sims could have enough money to live here or you know if things were going to be too high i did test it a couple of minutes ago just to see if the family could move in and yes they can i did i did have to delete a couple of objects though it was like you know a treadmill some arcade cabinets and stuff like that but the family overall could afford this house and that's like what I was really worried about because when because before I moved them in they had around like 98,000 simoleons but of course when I sell everything and empty out inventories and stuff like that they of course had enough money for it so that was like the only thing I worried about but also y'all this house was huge like it took me hours to uh build and furnish this like I honestly I was building this around like I don't know one or two o'clock in the afternoon and I'm just now finishing it it's like one o'clock right now in the morning um I did have to take a break I did go stream and stuff like that but yeah it was a whole entire process but I love how this house turned out usually yum which is a viewer and what also one of my mods on twitch he, usually he will build me the houses for nightmare legacy um but i was like i kind of want to build this one since it's the last one and i just love how it turned out y'all like right now i'm kind of doing like the landscaping and stuff i was like all over the place when i was building this because my brain was just going in so many different directions i was like okay cj well before we furnish the house even though it's going to be like super huge why don't we just, you know, do some landscaping in the front yard to make sure that we have at least enough money for landscaping. So that's kind of what I did. I saved the backyard, however, for like the last bit of the video. I also did do a lot of like terrain paint and stuff out in front. As you can see, we have a garage onto this house. So I wanted to go all out. Now this is moving on to the inside. This is like the little foyer area. And y'all, <laughs> when I tell y'all it took me hours to furnish this house. Um, you, you see that bookshelf right there? get used to looking at it because it shows up like everywhere in this house this house was just too big okay and i know usually when you i got i guess for like a lot of people usually like the advice is to make a build small not to make it super big all the time if you're trying to like fill up the space but i want it to go all out since this is the last one like y'all you gotta understand if you see if you've been watching this series since it first came out you will know elliot ingrid they had like a little baby house i think like elliot had like four walls and that was his house <laughs> and then we started from that little house to this big mansion basically and this is literally the same lot like i've never moved from this lot the whole entire time i've been playing the legacy challenge if you've never seen it and you want to um new parts come out every single thursday um at the time of this video anyway i'm still currently doing it i feel like i'll probably be done in a couple of months though but if you want to watch like all the parts there's currently like 70 something parts i think like 70 Five seventy six parts out or 77 something like that we're like in the 70s <laughs> so i'm hoping i can finish this somewhat soon because i have had a time with this save file y'all like literally some of y'all already know because i've mentioned this before but there was a couple of times when i thought i was going to just lose this save file and was not going to be able to play on it anymore i would get error code 12 which if you don't know error code 12 is like a really weird error code i think it shows up when the game doesn't have enough ram or like memory you know to save um but it was like a really weird bug and glitch it always happened in the save file at one point and i was almost about to just give up and then i even tried to like export all the sims to a different world and i tried to use porter um like the porter mod and then they were like the game would like crash i was like oh no and i think what happened was one of the sims in the world were like corrupted 
Um, I don't know if it was that sim, but they had like a kid, and I think the kid was corrupted or something like that. And I had to to delete the kid, and then after that, like the save file would save and stuff. So it's been a process. But also think about the fact too, I've been playing on the save file since 2020. So yeah, <laughs> I think like May 2020 till like now, and it's like uh February 2023. So yeah, most save files don't I don't think last this long unless you like do a deep clean or something like that. So. It has been a long time coming. But anyway, this is just me now going going inside of the garage. And I was just putting like a lot of stuff from the fast lane stuff. Again, y'all, I was trying to fill up a lot of space in this house. Um, I did end up like adding some walls and stuff off camera and closing and like rooms off and adding like extra bathrooms. Um, this room down here is just like one of the just bedrooms downstairs. Um, so this one is very inspired by like the garage kind of. It's like a, I don't know, like a... I feel like the sim that lives here really likes race cars and, and racing and stuff like that. So I put like the race car bed because honestly, I don't think I've ever really used that at all. And I've had it in my game for years now. So I was like, finally, we need to get around to using it. So I used the race car bed. I also used a little disco rug that came with the fast lane stuff pack. And I also used some more like decor items and stuff that came with the fast lane pack. So that car lamp, for example those rims i don't think i've ever really used those before and um i also put like a desk up in here too that came with the pack and um you know i feel like maybe like a kid lives in this room or maybe like a teenager who just aged up from a kid so you know i have like some mirrors and stuff like that i have a toy box in the corner so i will leave this house you know for download if y'all want to check it out again feel free to like you know change anything or make it smaller if you want to feel free to edit it um again y'all this house is like two hundred thousand some Molians, so i don't really know what kind of sims would want to live here like aside, i guess aside from my sims but like i don't really know like what kind of sims y'all have that might want to live here but feel free to you know change it if you need to <laughs> um but moving on this right here is the nursery so this is like what this is like the only this is yeah i guess i could say this is like the only nursery in the house one of the upstairs bedroom does have like a little nursery section into it but this is like the only like nursery nursery in the house so down here i put like a lot of the items that came with the store content it's like one of the little jungle bedroom sets or animal bedroom sets so i don't really get a chance to use that crib so i wanted to really use that in here um i also put like a bunch of toys in here a changing table i changed the wallpaper to kind of look like a little jungle I also was mindful to put some potties up down here too. So if you wanted to potty train your children. Um, so yeah, again, y'all like, cause right now I'm on generation nine of my nightmare legacy and my heir is currently pregnant, I think. Yeah, she's currently pregnant. So we're almost on generation 10. So <laughs> definitely we're going to be using this nursery. I don't really know how many kids the generation 10 heir will have when they get older. I don't really know. But mm, we're going to have to probably have a couple. <laughs> we're probably going to have to have a couple of them just to kind of fill up the house a little bit. Um, we also have a horse, too, which I kind of forgot we had a horse when I was building this house. So I didn't put a stable down, but I will put one down when I place the Sims in this house. Like I said, I did test it so they can move here, but I want to save a couple of items that I forgot I deleted it. So I'm going to have to, you know, rearrange it. But the Sims can move here. Um, but moving on, this is just the dining room. So again, you know, trying to fill up a lot of space in here. I use those big China cabinet objects from the base game. I don't really get a chance to use them all too often. And I it put up like a really big double table from the seasons pack in the dining room as well. And I also put like a bar so your Sims could have somewhere to, you know, drink if they want to. Um, moving on right here, this is the kitchen. I did use some custom content uh, countertops. Um, so, you know, you might want to replace those or if you don't have them in your game, you go to download this house and they don't show up. That is why. But hopefully you can see how I have my kitchen and you can try to replicate it if you want to. Um, I think this might be like one of the only pieces of custom content that I've used in the house, but I really like those CC countertops and I kind of already had them in my game anyway. Um, I also, I don't think that those countertops come with matching like upper cabinets so i had to use the ones from the base side set and i recolored them i also did not forget about the pet bowls i used the automatic one and i also used like the you know the regular one just in case um because sometimes the automatic one does not work i don't know do y'all have that issue in y'all game or like it'll be filled up and stuff but like sometimes it just doesn't dispense food i know there's like a sensor that you can like you know put on it but for whatever reason sometimes it breaks but more recently it's been working for me so I don't really know what's with it, but I just put the other one just in case. I also wanted to fill up some extra space in the kitchen, and I put, like, a big square rug down here, and I have, like, a little wood design on it. Um, and then the kitchen also does have a bathroom because, um, you know, 
it's always nice to have a bathroom somewhere. <laughs> um, but moving on, this is just like a really generic bedroom. Again, there's a lot of space in this house, so I had to like get kind of creative. So I ended up just making this one into like a really generic bedroom. Maybe if you go to download this house and you just have like a, you know, maybe a sim or something, like a, a grandparent or like a relative or something, or just an extra sim, you can always have them stay in this room. Um, I really do like that poster. Um, that I put above the dresser. I thought it looked really cool. And I really liked the tones of the dresser, but I did end up recoloring it just to kind of match with the bed a little bit. Um, but I think this room is pretty cool. I can't complain too much. Um, around this time, y'all, I was like, okay, CJ, what are we going to do? <laughs> so I ended up making this little section. This was going to be like a living room, but I was like, no, I, don't, I feel like we can use the room like next to it to be a living room. So for this one, I decided to make into a like a study or like an open home office space. So we have a computer desk. We have a couple of big bookshelves. I also have some chairs in here. So you can, you know, maybe if your Sims just want to have a quick conversation here, they can have one. Um, put up some nice artwork and stuff like that. And I think I also put a lamp in the corner, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I was going to use that really big painting right then, y'all, but it was so expensive. It's like one of the most expensive ones that I have in my game. And I was like, mm, I'm trying to, like, at this point, I was like, okay, this house is getting to be super expensive. I need to be mindful of the stuff I pick. Um, but this right here is the living room. So I wanted to put like a, a TV that sits on the ground. I also had to put some uh windows up like right behind it just to kind of let in a little bit more light i also put a stereo because why not and i also put a rug behind it just to kind of fill up some space i did do this really cool thing where i used both of those bookshelves i had to play around with them a lot because uh i didn't because i tried to put three but i figured out there wasn't enough space to kind of make them all connect so <laughs> i had to get a little creative so i ended up putting them like that and i put like a little end table in the middle of them and i had like a lamp on top of it it has like a really nice effect to it um i also used a couch I was going to use the one from late night, but I didn't really like how it looked. So I ended up using like one of the ones that was store content. And then in this little room right here, I decided to make this into a bathroom because, you know, you can never have too many bathrooms in a house. <laughs> so there's like a lot. I really don't even I really don't remember how many bedrooms this house has. Like it's probably like five or six but I kind of lost count, so, yeah, and then, like, all this, y'all, is still the first floor, by the way, like, we still have to go upstairs and furnish everything else, so, there was a lot of furnishing, um, this is those windows that I was telling y'all about, I had to go ahead and put those in here, just to kind of let in a little bit light, I think all the windows on this house are store content, but I don't remember the set they came from, when, usually when I do these kind of builds, y'all, I don't really limit myself in terms of, like, pack choice and stuff like that, or how many packs I want to use, because a lot of the stuff in The Sims 3, even though, um, like for example, I don't know something in store content. Sometimes the game doesn't really recognize things as being store content or whatever. Sometimes you'll have like store content that's labeled as base game and it doesn't have a symbol beside it. So some things I can know, but some things I just get kind of confused about. So I'm like, it's no need for me to just, you know, limit myself. Um, but right here, y'all, this is the home gym. So I did have to delete one of the treadmills. I think I deleted both of the treadmills in the final like house like well not for this you know build whatever but like when i went to go place my sims down you know so i had to delete like a treadmill i put like a weight bar um not a weight bar i put two of those pull-up bars and i put one of those little ballerina like pull things um and i also use these chair i think these are like little ottomans that came with the town life pack but i use these to kind of make make a makeshift sectional in here so your sims can have somewhere to sit down again i was just trying to fill up a lot of empty space in this room um I feel like this house is so just, it's so big that you probably have everything that your Sims could probably need. I mean, you could probably use some more skill building items in this house, but I feel like for the most part, your Sims don't really need to leave. But like that, but that leads me to like ask a question, y'all. Do you ever have your Sims leave the house that much when you play The Sims? Like even when I play The Sims 3, I just, usually if it's in my own like gameplay, I will have my Sims just stay home forever. <laughs> and even, especially in The Sims 4, I don't really like my Sims to leave anyway because like, I just don't wanna have to sit through a loading screen unless I really have to. Even though I have like a pretty decent computer now, back in the day, I was like, no, I don't wanna sit through a loading screen. I don't wanna wait. And now I'm like, I really don't even want to, like, even though my loading, my loading screens are not that long, I just still don't want to wait now. <laughs> uh, but moving on, this is just one of the bedrooms. Again, this one is like a really generic one too. For me, this is like a little guest bedroom or something, or, you know, maybe if we have like, I don't know, a sim that we're just trying to get to know or something and we want them to come and stay here or something like that, we can have them move in. Um, I did put like some art and stuff up in the wall. Oh no, this is like one of the master bedrooms, if I'm not mistaken. The other bedroom, I forgot, I didn't show myself editing one of the bedrooms but i got this one mixed up with the other one this bedroom right here is like i, I don't know i don't want to say like the 
like the primary primary bedroom but it's like one of the most important ones i feel like i'm gonna have amari who is my heir i think i'm gonna have her stay in that room um with her man quentin um but yeah i think i'm gonna have them stay in this room this bedroom also does have a really big ensuite bathroom um i tried to again fill up a lot of space in here i put like a lamp on the bathroom counter which is something that i normally don't ever do so i thought it looked kind of nice in here i also put a plant and i could not forget my mirrors of course i never really put two mirrors like that either i feel like the window placement was just so perfect for this bathroom i do want to go back probably and put like a rug um, maybe i'll wait until i figure out if my sims have money <laughs> uh but maybe you could put a rug down in this bathroom and then moving on this big gigantic room y'all ended up becoming a game room so i had to delete some stuff out of here just to make enough money for my sims so this room has a i think it's like a billards table or like a pool table um it also has like a claw machine whack -a -gnome, like arcade cabinets and arcade games and stuff like that i put a pinball machine in here as well um and i think that was pretty much everything i also put like one of those futuristic uh arcades i ended up deleting that one when i had to go put the sims down because they didn't have no money for it <laughs> um and i did also delete um one of the the arcade cabinets in that room as well but you know you can always add it back if you want to. And then moving on, this is probably one of my favorite bedrooms. It has like a really nice brown earthy color and I really like it. It's like really cool. Like I would honestly want to be in this bedroom and just chill and hang out. <laughs> um, so for this one, I just put like a lot of just, you know, brown tones and stuff like that together um this bedroom right here is like one of the generic ones again this one has just like two single beds it also has the end tables that came with the pets pack and i put them beside each other and um i also put like a dresser i think i used one of the paintings that came with the seasons pack and then i also put like a lamp on the dresser and i used a rug i tried to like make the rug kind of fill up a little bit of space in here so it took me a while to come out to come up with a like an idea for like what kind of pattern I wanted to use. Um, I don't know y'all. The creative style tool really is just, it's like a blessing and a curse. It's a blessing because like we can get things exactly how we want to, but it's kind of like a curse because it will honestly leave me here just fiddling around with it for hours and hours and hours. And sometimes I find that my game crashes when I mess with it a little bit too much. So <laughs> there's always that. But uh, yeah, this is just me now trying to figure out what kind of pattern I wanted. I wanted to use like the generic like rustic like animal print one but then i was like no then i was like trying to use this one i really like how this one looked but then i was like nah it looks a little bit too fancy so i ended up just using like a basic color and this is the last bedroom so this one is probably one of my favorite ones in the whole entire house because maybe i should have amari stay here honestly because this bedroom has like you know like a bed and a dresser and all that but it also has like a little nursery section on the other end of the room and i think that'd be kind of cool especially for like a sim who is just becoming a parent maybe they want the babies to be like right by them and they can always like access it so i made sure to put a crib i also use a changing table in that corner um oh, i also put this couch this love seat I I really like this one and I wanted to use it here but yeah but anyway going back over in this corner I also put like a bookshelf I think the bookshelf came with the pets pack I want to say um I was really inspired by that bookshelf for this little corner so we have the changing table of course we have the crib I had to like scroll through the um decor catalog just to find like a bunch of animal stuff I used a little animal mobile um a rocking chair like I said I put a rug down I used the I think it's like a Humpty Dumpty like nursery rhyme print uh, I think it's from the base game and I ended up using that on top of this rug. I was going to use like the leaves at first, but then I was like, I already did that. Let's do something different. And I really like the colors that this rug kind of gave off. So I ended up using that. But I think that's pretty much it for this bedroom. I think, like I said, y'all, this one is probably my favorite one in the whole entire house just because of this little like addition to it. Um, I did, like I said, I did go back and like scroll through a lot of the decor stuff because there's like a lot, there's honestly a lot of decor in this game, um, especially <laughs> if you have story content. So I was trying to use this little like that kid like quilt thing. But it like you can't rise it up or lower it down on the wall for some reason. So I didn't use it. But I ended up using that rabbit and rabbit. <laughs> I don't know. It's like a stuffed animal set. So I ended up using that instead. Um, and I also put like a bookshelf in the corner of that bedroom. But moving on to the backyard, y'all. I had no idea what I, what I wanted to do out here. So I started off by using an L-shaped pool. And I also put some wood like a uh, floor flooring down like the side of the pool just to kind of trace out a little area um i did go back off camera and add like a bunch of terrain paint because it was looking really like bland back here um i did end up using the grill set that came with the outdoor living stuff 
pack. I used a lot of stuff out here um, from that pack, actually. I used the fire pit. I used, you know, of course, the grill and the countertops, the, the matching chairs that goes with the countertops. Also, that hot tub, too. I think I might delete that from, like, my Sims house, like, when I put them down, because I like the hot tub, but I think it was a little bit too expensive, so I might end up deleting it, but I thought it looked kind of cool for the speed build, so I left it there. Um, this is just me now trying to fiddle around with the placement of everything. I had to, like, move the... Um, like the cabinets and stuff and not the cabinets, the countertops. I had to end up moving them a lot just to make some space. Like I had to move them up. I was trying to make space for everything. Everything was looking kind of congested around this area. So I was like, okay, let's not do it. I made the floor kind of darker, um, kind of to match like the front of the house a little bit. And I don't know, y'all. It was a whole entire pro thought process. I had to like stop recording to kind of fiddle around with stuff. This is just me now trying to fill in some extra space. So I ended up putting like a bunch of like, you know, playground equipment and sandboxes and spring rats and stuff like that. I also put a slide behind here. And I also used the treehouse that came with the town life pack. And also I did put down some of those chairs. It's like the little bear. I don't think I've ever used those before. They're store content. And I don't really ever get a chance to use those. So this is me now just putting some um, like lights on the front and the back of the house. And um, I also use those little lights that came with the pets pack. I love those. Um, and that's pretty much it I want to say for the backyard. I did go down and put some like, you know, terrain paint and stuff like that behind here. So stick around for the screenshots. It'll show you what the house will look like when you go to download it. But honestly, y'all, that is pretty much it for this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like, comment something down below. Follow me over on Twitch, watch stream a lot more of The Sims, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching.